hi guys welcome to this new video and it is very important video if you are a programmer coder and you must be willing to practice coding online and the best way to actually practice coding online is to contribute in open source repositories so i'm on github i have opened up this amazing public repository called react which is built by facebook as you can see meta facebook and it is a public repository it means that you can see the whole code of react that how this react library was built and if i go down you can see that the 1624 people actually contributed to this repository so just like this repository there are a lot of thousands and millions of repositories that you can check out and contribute in those repositories so in this video i will show you what is git forking how to contribute it how to create prs and how to validate your changes and let the owners and the authors of those repositories to review your pr and they can merge your changes in their repository okay so first of all i will show you what is forking so now you can see that at the top we have this facebook slash react and this react repository is in this facebook organization so in order to contribute that you cannot just go to the code and copy this url and clone it in your system this is not how you are going to contribute to this repository what you need to do is you need to click on this fork button you can see that up till now 44.1 k people actually have forked so if i fork it this repository react will become a part of in my own organization in my own github account and if you are using gitlab other uh, providers like git uh, gitlab or bitbucket you can follow the same steps so it is asking me that you want to create this repository in your organization this is my username and yes i want to create that and i click on the create fork button and now you can see at the top this react library is being a part of my my own organization which is Omer Jamil Prick site okay and once it gets forked and it is loading that whole code will be downloaded in my own account and it will become the part of my own organization in the github and then I want to clone it I can clone it by copying the HTTPS link or the SSH link so I'll go ahead and copy this SSH link uh, make sure you have the SSH key of your system added in the settings of your github account just by going to the settings and you can add the SSH key over there so I'll just copy this URL and I'll open up my terminal and here I will write git clone and I'll paste it okay and this url is actually coming from my own account my own organization so it does not make me the owner of this repository this uh, react open source library uh, because over here you can see that it is also showing that this react repository react code which is currently part of my own organization is forked from the facebook slash react so they are the real owners of this repository okay so now let's go ahead and see if it is actually cloned so it is working currently so let's wait for it until and unless it gets completed all right so repository is cloned let's open up this code in vs code or any other code editor and this is the amazing code of react so in the terminal the first thing i will do is i'll verify a few things let's first go inside this these are all the files and folders exist in this repository and i will first write the git remote hyphen v so these two lines are representing origin origin means that we actually cloned this repository from the ssh url and from my own organization and we can use these two urls for fetching and pushing the data okay then how can we push the data in actual repository of react in facebook organization so they can review my code and if they like my change they can merge my changes in their actual open source react repository okay so first of all what i need to do is i need to add an upstream url of their organization so i will i'm in here in my own organization i'll go back and currently this is the url of facebook slash react let's open this up this is the actual page of this repository i will go and i will copy the https url from here 
okay and in here i will write a line of code git remote set url and i will write upstream and then i will paste the url so there is no upstream actually when we set the url when the upstream is already added and we want to make the changes inside it but since we have we don't have the upstream url so we will write the git remote add upstream and then i will paste the url okay and it is not showing any error now now if i go ahead and check git remote hyphen v now you can see these four urls over here two from origin for fetching and pushing the data in this url and then the upstream urls and it means that we can actually fetch and push the data of our changes in these urls and these urls belongs to the owners of this repositories and it is the facebook okay the next step is that you are going to make some changes in the code let's say we are in the fixture or any other folder so let's open up this index.html i have not seen this code before so i'm not going to spend time understanding it just to explain you guys how we can contribute in open source project so let's try to add an extra dot in this string and uh, it is not going to throw any error and they either not going to approve my pr and this is just for explaining you guys so if i save this file in the terminal i can check git status and now you can see that it is showing that this one particular file is changed and how can i ask the facebook to actually merge my code in their react repository okay so i'm in my local organization of github and this is my organization and now you can see that it does not have a single pr and uh, it does not have anything else it does not have any history over here okay so we can do anything we want we can merge our code in the main branch of our own organization and we can create different branches create multiple pull request anything we want so once we have a final branch that contains a stable code and let's say that you have a team of developers and all of them are contributing to one react repository and you want all of their code to be merged into one branch let's say it is a main branch or any other branch you want so here if i check git branch it's showing that i'm in the main branch so i can actually push the code in this main branch but i'm not going to do that i'll be creating a new branch to actually push this code inside so i will write git checkout hyphen b is to create a new branch and uh, i will name this branch add dot okay and then if i check my branch it will show that you are in this add dot branch and now if i check the git status i can see that this file is changed in this add dot branch so before moving forward uh, you need to actually check out the contributing guide of the open source repository and this react is well maintained by facebook and whenever you want to contribute in such a big company's repositories and it is an open source repository they actually ask us to follow proper guidelines and uh, it is giving us this link and we can go through it which i'm not going to do that because i'm not actually creating a pr which i want it to be merged in their repository okay so let's come back and this is a new branch that i have created now i'm going to add it it is added if i go to check the status it should be green and now i will add a random message to it so i will write the add dot i need to add my name and my username before actually committing it so i'm going to quickly do it I'm not going to set it globally. I only want to change the name and email for this particular repository. So I will not write hash hash global. This is the email I have added. And this is the username I have added. Now let's try to add a commit message again. Now it is added. And if I check the status, it is not showing any file changed so i'm going to verify my branch again so git branch this is a branch 
and then i am going to push so git push origin and i am going to add this branch in my local organization which is umair jamil prick site so this branch is added over here so if i go over here let's refresh and i can see this new branch is added and i can create prs against this main branch it is my local organization i can do anything and if I go to the Facebook slash react, I can see that this branch umaj milprick site colon add dot is shown in their organization as well. And it is automatically detecting that someone who forked this repository actually have pushed some code in their own organization, which is detected over here. Now, if I come here, compare and pull request. So here you can see that it is showing the base repository from Facebook slash react who is the owner of this repository and by default it is showing this main branch. We need to go and check out their contributing guideline if we can actually create a PR against their main branch and most probably for such a big repository like react uh, owned by Facebook they will be maintaining other main branches as well like staging development against which we would need to create the PRs okay so for now i can assume that i can create pr directly in the main branch which i'm sure that they are not going to merge this they are just going to cancel this pr and obviously i'm not even going to create a pull request against that this is to show you that how you can create and contribute in their uh, repository it can be any open source repository but i chose an example of open source react library from facebook okay so this is how we can create a pr and contribute in the open source repositories so there is another point i would like to mention here that let's say that in their repository they have made some changes they have released a new version of react or some other contributor have actually made some changes and his pr getting merged in the main branch and i've already forked their repository which i want to contribute to so do i have to fork their repository again and again to update my uh, repository so this is not the thing we need to do we have already forked we have already cloned our uh, repository from our local organization we don't have to fork again if they have made some changes in their main branch so in order to keep our local forked repository updated with their own base repository of the react we can actually take let's go and uh, i'm going to write git checkout main i'm in the main branch now so git status git branch so this is the main branch now in order to keep my main branch updated with their organization main branch repository so i need to take a pull rather than writing origin this origin means that the repository main branch origin of my own local organization rather than writing or, or origin i can write the upstream and then the main so if I write this, my main branch, local main branch will be updated with their upstream main branch. And you can see that it is already updated. So guys, I hope that you have followed all the process and you have understood how we can contribute to any open source public repository, whether it is on GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket or any other repository hosting provider. So if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button and comment below if you have any questions. So see you guys in the next video.